Hello everyone, this is Debs and this is your Full Moon in Pisces Collective reading. I hope you're well. In meditation, Archangel Michael just showed me a clip from an old film. Um, it's an old BBC film with a star cast called Enchanted April. It wasn't very well known at the time, but it's a beautiful story set in the 1920s of four women from completely different walks of life. One woman saw an advert for a beautiful mansion in the depths of the Italian countryside. She thought to herself she can't afford it, so she decided to advertise. And these four women spent the month of April in this beautiful Italian villa. There was an old lady who was stuck in the past. There was a bored housewife who knew her husband was cheating. There was a lady who was simply stuck in midlife crisis, feeling as if she'd helped everybody else but herself. And there was a young girl in her twenties who was a flapper. They were all completely different, but somehow during interaction between all four of them, it changed their lives. And right at the end of the film, the old lady who had this stick, she never went anywhere without her stick, walked down through this incredible orchard of oleanders. And she planted this walking stick in the ground and said to the three women, OK, that's it. I'm free. I don't need my stick anymore. And as the credits rolled, this walking stick sprouted leaves and turned into an oleander. An oleander is a beautiful flowering bush. It can be white, it can be pink, but glorious, like cherry blossom. And I don't know why, but Archangel Michael showed me that particular part of the film. So I feel collective what we have here is maybe a group of you coming together OK, forget the fact these are women, these could be four guys who are on a mission to help someone or a group of people by pulling together and leaning on their individual positive traits or individual talents. Right. We could have someone here who is an author. Someone could be an IT specialist. Another person could be a creative, maybe someone else is firmly linked to source, could be a medium, could be psychic. I feel that we've got a group of people coming together from four completely different walks of life who are going to be working together to somehow bring enlightenment, positivity, light to another group of people. It could be generally into the world. So collective, with that really long intro, this full moon in Pisces occurring on September the 17th, 2024 at 10.35 p.m. EDT will be at 25 degrees and 41 minutes of Pisces opposite the sun, of course, in Virgo. Now, with its alignment with Neptune and square Jupiter, I think it's also harmonizing with Uranus, although I may need to check will be ready to embrace change. It will be a time of intense emotions. This particular lunar eclipse will be also very significant. It may trigger a sudden awareness of a great need to pull together or a great need for camaraderie. Whether or not it's romantic, whether or not it's to do with building friendships, there could be a family group coming back together again, friendships, new friendships formed. This eclipse would affect those with personal planets and points at between 20 to 30 degrees of the mutable signs of, of course, Pisces, Virgo, Sagittarius and Gemini, most significantly. So collective, with that said, <laughs> let's delve in. The deck that I'm using is the Tarot Grand Lux. If you would like a private reading, my website's down below. And if you are interested, I'm now offering past life readings. So if that's of interest, you can book that now with me. My website's down there. All the decks are listed. And of course, the link is there to join the channel. So collective, I feel as if you've got a group of people coming together. It may be all these four people have individual talents, but 
they may have felt very on their own or they may have felt as if they were sort of battling against the wind uh independent they're coming together to form a very strong bond now this may not be four people it could be two people it could be three people it could be 10 people we've got a sense of let's come together and see what we can create that's what i feel we have here so archangel michael thank you for joining us this is the full moon in pisces reading for the collective September 2024. What do we have for the collective, please, Michael? Oh, fascinating. Fascinating. Archangel Michael's taking me to a mining site. <laughs> He's showing me a globe. In one part of the world, somebody here is mining for gold. In another part of the world, somebody here is mining for diamonds. We've got a craftsman in another area of the world and I can see someone in another area engraving on the inside of a gold band. Yes, four people with talents are coming together to create something beautiful, right? The gold will be used as the main ring. The diamond will be embedded. It's then going to be polished and crafted and then engraved. Yes. So what he's saying is together you can create something beautiful. And he's smiling at me. He's saying diamonds are forever. And to create something that's going to be handed down generation to generation forever. So somebody may be starting a business. They're, they're going to hand over to their children or it's going to be taken over by like-minded people. It's going to continue. So this is new. This is new. Yes. I'm also hearing diamond in the rough. Okay. Now, obviously, guys, this is nothing to do with jewellery. This is all symbolic. If we pull together, we can create something incredible. The Six of Swords. These two, three, four, ten people will be coming together from a distance. They're all living in different areas of the world. With the nine of pentacles, they may also be pooling their resources to create, to build a venture. They could each be putting in a small amount of money. It could be this is a centre based around healing. It could be a centre based around yoga, Pilates. It could be counselling. Four people are coming together to form a business that in some way is going to help a group of people. All with different talents. In the past, the Six of Cups. One particular person had this idea. They may have had this idea for... A very long time, maybe even going back to childhood days. After that time, they sat and thought about this. Is this possible? I don't think I can do this on my own. <sighs> so maybe I should let this dream go, put it on the back burner. But they're now realising that if they pull together with two or three or a group of other people, this would be possible. This would be possible collective. The Seven of Wands. They're very worried that if they advertise for someone else to join them in building this, they're either going to be inundated, but these people may not have the right intentions, inundated by people who feel they can make money out of this rather than concentrate on the healing aspect of this business. So this is someone who's been keeping this quiet for quite a long time. How do I get a person, two or three people, a group of people on board who have the right intentions, who think the way that I do? In the immediate future, we have strength. This person could have Leo in their chart. This is someone who may have faced health issues, which they have managed 
to get over. Because of a talent that they have, natural healing, maybe, that they want to share with the world. I'm hearing the word homeopathic. I'm hearing acupuncture, Chinese medicine. I'm also hearing Reiki. Reiki. In this person's fears, fearing that with the Ace of Wands, people are going to get very excited about this, but then are going to sort of drop off. Oh, well, it's a great idea, but ooh, it's going to take a lot of work. I don't think it's for me. She wants this to last because she knows it's needed and would also be highly successful. In the environment, the Eight of Pentacles. One particular person is actually looking at joining, I think this woman. They're looking at the finances it would take to set this up and they're serious. In this woman's hopes, hoping to get enough money together to start this, to start this. In the outcome collective, the hermit. Virgo energy. Someone's doing a lot of soul searching and thinking about this. A lot of thinking about this. In this woman's energy, the world. There may be two people coming together from different areas, different parts of the world. For instance, this woman may live in Australia. Another woman may live in the USA, something like that. There's going to be a lot of communication of the Internet about the potential of running this. Now, it may well be that one person has reached a point in their life where they're quite happy to up sticks and move. There could be a lot of conversation here about work permits, setting up a business in another area of the world. A lot to manage. But these two people somehow want to come together to create a physical facility for helping those in need. And I do feel this is linked to alternative healing, alternative healing practices, energy healing. I'm also hearing we need to bring on board a chiropractor. Okay. Yes. Mm. At the moment, this is a little bit pie in the sky. It would take a lot to do this. It would take a lot of planning. A lot of courage, quite a lot of money to begin with, but I feel that these two in particular are very passionate about this. Whoever's looking at the finances is the Queen of Swords. This is someone highly intelligent. This is someone who may even have a lot of knowledge about setting up a business, how much money it would take to do this. She could be an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. She's got some savings with the Seven of Pentacles. And this is someone who may have been looking at setting up this type of business for quite a while, but didn't know how to start. Underneath the deck collective, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of effort. It's going to take a lot of effort, but it's possible. With the energy of the Magician, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, it is possible. So, collective. Let's move into this and see what else materialises. I don't know why I'm hearing light therapy. Water therapy, okay. This is very closely linked to the elements. I'm hearing dietitian, okay. So Archangel Michael, 
Who are we mainly connecting with here, please? Six of Swords, moving to Karma Waters, Nine of Pentacles. This is someone who is considering finding another person or group of people to collaborate with to bring this idea to fruition. Oh, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Okay, yeah, full moon in Pisces. This is someone who I'm hearing can see through the veil, okay? Oh, wow. How strange. Yeah, I mean, this is someone who can actually see through the veil, right? This is someone connected to the 5D, could be a natural healer. This is someone who may have their clairs. This is someone who is, I'm also hearing, very compassionate. This is an amazingly compassionate woman who wants to do good for the world. Yes, yes, and is wanting to come together with two or three like-minded people in order to create this facility. Yes, we can do this. The Wheel of Destiny. We were destined to make this happen. Wow. I feel the Divine is going to be supporting these women. It may be in guiding them to the right sources of information to set this up. Maybe putting them in contact with people who might be interested in investing in this. What was the Six of Cups in the past for this Queen of Cups? The Page of Wands. She had this wonderful idea, but she kept it to herself. She kept it to herself. Yeah, she didn't speak about it to anyone in the past. Almost as if this would have been a fantasy as she grew up to do something like this, but she may have felt she would never have the courage to actually look at doing this on a practical basis. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if, but it was never taken forward. Maybe life took over. This woman could have got married, had children. I don't feel I'm connecting with a very young woman. I feel as if I may be connecting with a woman who is maybe 40s, 50s, 60s. Uh, she's lived a little bit of life. She may be divorced. She may have never married. This woman has been looking for a partner, a business partner, someone similar to her, who she feels she can trust to get this up and running. What happened after that time? What happened after that time? The King of Pentacles. She may have even looked at the financial aspects of doing this and realised it may be a bit much. It may be a bit much. <laughs> Bless her. Yeah, page of coins. <laughs> She may have been thinking, yeah, I, I have one pentacle. Um, I need a lot more to make this happen. Maybe she felt it was way too much of a serious enterprise to get going on her own. So she put it on the back burner. What she's thinking about now is, I want to revisit this idea. I want to see who else is available that I could twin up with who thinks in the way I do. Let's create healing for a group of people. Let's build a business that's going to be ongoing, helping people with health issues, psychological issues, negativity, and definitely infiltrating natural products. Light, water. With the Seven of Wands, she may have thought, Either someone else with millions to spend is going to take this idea and run with it. And it's going to be a shame because I want this to start really small. I want there to be a lot of personal contact with clients. I don't want to turn this into a money making venture. She may have been slightly nervous about putting this out. Sorry, guys, I've now put it out, but there we go. <laughs> What's she thinking about? Yeah, there's just going to be competition. Oh, she's saying, I just want to help people. I want to heal people. I want to create a peaceful environment. I don't want this to be 
taken up and run with by a company who is just interested in profit. This is someone who really does want to put out into the world. Anything else about this woman? What's she thinking about? It would need careful planning with a Hierophant. But there is definitely a desire to bring spirituality into this. Not necessarily religion, but spirituality. Hmm. Interesting. What else is she considering here? It's going to take a lot of effort, a lot of time and finances. So collective, in the immediate future, we have this woman here who is wanting to offer a healing facility enterprise, right? And we have someone here, this Queen of Swords, who's highly intelligent, who has some savings, who is looking at her finances. Now, this could be somebody who maybe has the funds to put into this type of venture. And I think she's interested in coming together with this woman, this Queen of Cups, to talk about this. Could we actually do this? It's going to take quite a lot to sort of get it off the ground. But is it actually possible on a practical basis? So Archangel Michael, when do we have the Strength card and the Eight of Coins for the Collective? Thank you, Michael. I've just seen one, two, three, four on the clock. This needs to happen in stages, okay? Thank you, Michael. November, okay, beginning of November, okay. So guys, possibly next month, these two are going to have a series of conversations. Now, I don't know, these two could already have known each other or these two may never have met, but they're of like minds. That's what I'm getting here. What is this Queen of Swords energy? What is she saying to the Queen of Cups? The Six of Pentacles. We could each put in half. Okay. We would both have to be completely on board with this, completely on board. No pulling out at the last minute. So these two may enter into an actual legally binding contract so that neither of these two women are left, you know, holding the baby financially if the other decided to pull out at the last minute. So this is going to be a little bit sensitive because... I feel these two are going to form a very strong friendship, but there needs to be a practical aspect to this. What else is this Queen of Swords saying? We need to think about where this would be. I don't think this is some kind of online course. This is going to be an actual physical building where these practices, healing practices, are going to take place. We need to think about location. We need to think about location. And with the energy of the Empress, this is someone who feels that it's possible to pull this together. This person could be a Libra or a Taurian. Okay, anything else? Anything else? Emperor. This person may be married or this person may seek the advice of an emperor. In order to make this happen, in order for this to be real, the death card, Scorpio energy, Aries there too. Yes, um, they're talking, this Queen of Swords, who may be the empress, or this Queen of Swords may be talking to an empress and an emperor, She's discussing major change and transformation in the form of creating this enterprise, helping people transform their lives through healing. But she's also relaying this to the Queen of Cups. Yes. Temperance, Sagittarian energy. It's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. There are a lot of things to consider. There may need to be a business permit set up so they can actually run this. They're going to need to get an accountant on board for practical reasons. They may need to look at hygiene if you're dealing with water therapy, that sort of thing. They may be wanting to bring on board highly valued and trained therapists for the business. 
What else is this Queen of Swords saying? She may know someone who would put the word out. We need to get a really good creative company behind this to market it. Okay, so this Queen of Swords is being totally practical. We need to look at finances, funding. We need to find a good location. We need to find the right staff for this particular enterprise. Whoever is sat in the energy of the strength card, what's on this woman's mind, this Queen of Cups? The hangman, wow, she could definitely be a Pisces or a Leo or have Pisces and Leo in her chart. What she's saying to this Queen of Swords is, it's really important that what we consider most of all is the healing aspect of this and not necessarily um, making money out of this. So this Queen of Cups is really conscious that this doesn't turn into some sort of money-making enterprise because that is not the point at all. Yes, obviously, these two women need to earn salaries in order to live, you know, pay their own bills, pay their own mortgages. But this Queen of Cups is really conscious it's not seen as a money-making venture. She's also saying she wants to connect with the earth, with nature, in order for this to be psychologically, aesthetically very attractive. So we could be looking at this facility being in the countryside, but maybe not too far away from a city. It needs to be somewhere peaceful and calm, but with an easy access to, obviously, transport facilities. Wow, this is a big venture, guys. Okay. Okay. What else is this woman saying? The Page of Cups. There may be a discussion here about children. I don't know. I mean, maybe this woman is saying we need to maybe have a crash on the side. You know, if this sort of thing appeals to women who have children. I don't know. She's thinking about the Page of Cups. Okay. What's she saying about the Page of Cups? Oh, okay. Page of Swords. Okay. I think what she's actually saying is we can't be too broad with this. This is going to be a very calm, very peaceful healing facility. She may even be saying, in the nicer sense, we shouldn't allow people to bring their kids along. We shouldn't allow people to bring their dogs along, you know. We want this to be totally calm. In the nicer sense, if we have a big crash with kids and if we have people wanting to leave their dogs, you know, in a particular area, it's just not going to work. There has to be, I'm hearing an element of total silence and a disconnection from the everyday world. Okay, now some people may feel that's not right. I want to bring my kids, right? Or I want to bring my dog. But this woman is saying it would take away from the peace and tranquility. Okay. What else is she saying? Yes, this needs to be a facility where people can come to get away from their everyday lives. I'm hearing this woman say this is not going to be some kind of family spa hotel. OK, she's very specific in her thoughts. This is going to be a getaway for the majority of people, maybe people who are highly stressed at work, maybe people who seek therapeutic healing, natural healing. I'm seeing an incredible white interior with a sort of waterfall inside with plants everywhere. Mm, white and green. Okay, very peaceful. Very peaceful. Okay. Mm. Ace of Cups. I'm seeing rows and rows and rows of... Evian water, bottles of Evian water in fridges around the 
edge of this room that almost looks circular. It almost looks as if it would be Moroccan or Greek. It's to totally white. The whole thing is white with lots of plants. Beautiful. Hmm. Wow. I'm definitely tapping into this particular woman's energy for sure. They may even find a building that needs a little bit of renovation, but it's definitely going to be surrounded by trees. It's very natural, this area, this area. Hmm. Eight of Swords, she's in her head. We do have two completely different women here, completely. This Queen of Cups is all about the aesthetics, the healing nature of this, making sure people are actually helped. She wants to keep it really, really small. I'm hearing 10 clients at any one time and that's it. Okay, so this isn't somebody who's going to open their door and have 300 women wandering, wandering around a facility. No. What else is this woman saying? Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> what she's saying is, look, you know, I'm not expecting to make a great deal of money out of this. I'm not particularly bothered as long as I can pay my bills and this helps people and it's successful. She really doesn't want to turn this into a venture to make money. She's just not wanting it to be that way because if that's what's concentrated on, there will be less concentration on the actual healing. We need to make sure these women actually leave this facility feeling good, feeling as if they've been able to just detach from their everyday lives for a period of time. So there may be a counselling facility in this enterprise as well. This is going to cover quite a lot, but it's all to do with feeling better, feeling more positive, body, mind and soul, body, mind and soul. Okay. I'm seeing somebody with a planner. I'm seeing two women behind a glass desk wearing white, what looks like almost nurses uniforms. Yes, I'm seeing these two women behind this desk handing out sort of questionnaires. Do you have any ailments we need to know about? Are you allergic to anything? Okay, this is probably just a basic disclaimer as you'd have in any spa facility. Yeah, so there'd need to be a certain amount of protection for the company, you know. But these two women are definitely, I feel, gonna pull this together. Yes. Three of Pentacles, they're going to work in partnership to actually make this happen. What's the energy between these two? Yes, this is going to be a small sort of boutique facility. Somewhere people can go to shut out the outside world. This is definitely not going to be in the city centre. It's going to be on the outskirts of a main town or city somewhere that is peaceful and quiet in order to achieve what they need to achieve. So collective, I hope you're with me. This is a rather unusual reading. With the energy of the Ace of Coins, this can be these two women hoping for funding, maybe investor funding. It may well be with a hermit. Before they actually start this, there needs to be a lot of research, right? Would we have to renovate somewhere? Could we actually build somewhere? I'm hearing this Queen of Swords saying, what are we gonna do about parking, you know? Okay, so there's a lot to consider, but very interesting. Yes, this Queen of Cups is thinking about the Hermit. Yeah, she's really conscious that she wants people to have a sort of almost surreal experience and then go back to their everyday lives. I want these women to come to this facility and not have to worry about anything. They're in our hands because they need us, right? Yeah. 
I want them to go home feeling, goodness, that was an incredible experience. Maybe an experience that people would want once a month, something like that. This would be a day clinic. I don't think we're dealing with, you know, letting out rooms and that sort of thing. What else is this Queen of Cups thinking about? The moon. I'm hearing underground swimming pool. I don't know why. <laughs> there may be a lot of emblems around this facility. You know, the moon, there could be a sort of a ceiling of stars above a swimming pool, that sort of thing. This is all about relaxation. She's very, very worried. She's going to bite off way more than she can chew. But I think this Queen of Swords is fully on board. And I think this Queen of Swords is going to give this Queen of Cups the courage to go for this. I think we should really do this. What else is this Queen of Cups thinking about? Okay, the Knight of Coins. The Knight of Pentacles. Mm. This is important. This is obviously funding. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's a lot of fear that they're just going to be out of their depth in terms of how much this is actually going to cost to put together. It's going to need to be relatively expensive. But then again, it is going to be exclusive. I'm not getting a huge facility with hundreds of people. I'm just getting... I'm, I'm actually seeing what looks like a round building as if it's Greek or Moroccan, closed off at the top but with a glass ceiling and lots of rooms set off for various treatments. And then people come out to the centre from the treatment rooms into a sort of relaxation area around this pool. I'm seeing it as a circular building for some reason. Four of Cups. Okay. This Queen of Cups feels it might be at this stage a bit pie in the sky. Whoa, this is going to take a lot of time, a lot of effort, money. Oh my goodness. I hope it's successful. What is this Queen of Swords saying? I think we should just go for it. The chariot. I think we should just do it. Wow. Wow. What is this Queen of Swords saying? Okay, what she's saying is, look, we wouldn't be taking a risk because we would be pulling in outside investors and they would know the risks. They would know that this may not work out. So Archangel Michael, I mean, does this have a chance of working out for these two women? Are they going to be able to do this? Four of Pentacles. It's going to take more money than they think. It's going to take more money than they think. But with the Nine of Cups, I think this has great potential of being highly successful. Yes. So, Collective, a really unusual reading. It may not be for you. It may be for you. It may have just been something of interest. Let me know. Drop me a comment. But take care of you. Enjoy this full moon in Pisces. And of course, I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Take care, guys. Bye now.